So it's a little dark, but we just got to our tiny home um, and it is so stinking cute. We grabbed some Taco Bell on the way here because we're starving and what time is it? Like 11? 11 o'clock here. Also, I just have to note, James asked for a lot of hot sauce. Look at that. <laughs> they did not play. <laughs> uh, I think they were like, I'm gonna show him a lot of hot sauce. <laughs> I would show you the outside, but it's just way too dark out there. So we're going to show you that in the morning. We're hoping to catch a really pretty sunrise. But yeah, we'll show you guys more in the morning. So this is where we ended up last night. Cortez, Colorado. Meg's over here watching the sunset. We both just woke up real fast to come out here and see this beautiful sun. I said sunset, but actually it's a sunrise. <laughs> Obviously, you're really fast. <laughs> We're still asleep. <laughs> <laughs> let's give them a tour, Meg. All right, guys, let's go inside. Bienvenidos. Bienvenidos. Welcome on in. Isn't it so cute? It is very cute. The two already used towels. This is the morning after we stayed here. We wanted to get it um, in good lighting so we can show you how cool the little tiny home is. We got here really late, so you guys are pretty much ready. Yeah. There's a little um, sunlight or moonlight, I guess. Look out of. It's really cool. But yeah, this was stop number Great two stay. at stop Cortez, two. Colorado. Check. Dang, my nose is red. Um, <laughs> so we're back on the road. We're on our way to Monument Valley. The actual park itself is closed due to coronavirus, but the Forest Gump Point, the iconic shot, is on the main highway. So um, we're gonna still be able to see that and see some of the cool, I don't know what those things are called, but we're gonna get to see those things. We just stopped at Starbucks, got our food and drink. And um, we should be there in about an hour and 30 minutes or so. And then we'll be connected. See you soon. What up, Meg? Where are we right now? We just made it to Utah. We made it to Utah. Back. We're 
are we at? Here it is, the prickly pear. How cute is this? It's awesome. <laughs> Super cute and western. I love it. And then you come in here. I love it because it's just so true to the Western vibes. And then the back. First of all, this view it is, amazing. is so beautiful. This little patio is sick. We've got a little fire. A little fire pit. Super cool. What do we think? Wow, that was loud. <laughs> We're in Moab, Utah. We're walking around trying to find some food. Walking around the downtown area. It's super, super cute. I'm a distracted. Megan's distracted. Trying There's a lot going food. on. We're starving. We're starving right now. So, yeah, we're going to find some food and then we'll reconnect. Today is day four. We're about to head off to Canyonlands National Park and then we're gonna go over to Arches to end the day. Um, it is nine o'clock here in Utah. We've got our snacks already. It's supposed to be 101 degrees today. Oh, I can see the picture. We are on our way to Canyonlands National Park. So we're gonna start off there, see, do a few of the shorter walking trails, 
and then we're going to end the day over in Arches National Park and um, hopefully end it with the Delicate Arch, the most, the more intense uh, hike, I think it's like three miles, but supposedly it has an amazing sunset view, so that's the plan. Um, we got our breakfast bars rolling, cheers, had some water and coffee this morning. Uh, last night we got back to the place and just crashed. Uh, Megan put some stuff on Instagram, but yeah, we're pretty dead, pretty tired. Pretty tired. So today we're gonna get some steps in and um, check out these views. Yep, and we will see you soon. It's a Canyonlands National Park. Mm -hmm. It is beautiful. So beautiful. Megan's beautiful. Mm -hmm. We are on our way to see the Mesa Arch. We got our Parks Project gear on. I know. Super cool. We love it. Um, Some of our favorite stuff. But yeah, we will reconnect once we get there. It's a short hike, only like, I think like a third of a mile. So. It'll be a pretty short trip, so yeah. we'll be yeah. It's hot out here. It's really hot. But goodness gracious, this is beautiful. What? It looks like something from like Star Wars, doesn't it? It does. <laughs> the way that it like cuts into the. It just looks like a different planet. Yeah, it honestly just looks. Good. What do you think, Meg? I think it's beautiful. But Megan's I will say, the bugs are freaking wild. Megan's getting destroyed by <laughs> these bugs. I keep eating them. She's had a and lot of protein this morning. Nose. She's sniffing them. She's eating them. I can't get them to stay away. I don't know if it's like from where I had hairspray in my hair last night or what, but they're crazy. Looking cute, but taking the trying to be calm. Taking in all the bugs. <laughs> <laughs> You said, do you want to go see the world, not grow old? We can be anything that we dream. We'll be like... So we're at Green River Overlook. Megan is getting ate alive. Still getting <laughs> bit. <laughs> She's bit. getting bugs eaten by uh, some bugs. I don't know. Bugs love Megan. They don't bother me. I think it's my blood type. That's what people say. Yeah, maybe so. I don't know, but I hate it for you. It really sucks. Yeah. Oh my God. I can tell you really hate it. Fall off a cliff. You're just like, oh, that sucks. <laughs> Oh my god, it freaking does. I'm insensitive <laughs> to her bug bites. Um, but yeah, Green, cool, right? Green River Overlook is amazing. There's the sign. There's the view. It's a win. It's such a short little hike to get here. Yeah. I don't know if you even can call it a hike. No, it's not a hike. But Literally walked it was cool. Over to the overlook. I think we're going to go to the Grand Overlook now. So, let's see what Canyon lands. Yeah. It's unbelievable. 
so beautiful. If you look out that way. I mean, like, does it ever end? It's unreal. It's not. I wish you guys could see it in person. Yep. I think there's a, I think the Green River or the Colorado River like goes like down through that point, I believe. Very green. I think they meet at some point, the Colorado and the Green River. But yeah, it's so much like the Grand Canyon, um, just on a smaller scale, just still so, so beautiful. So I'm setting up this DJI Osmo Mobile 3 to get a shot of Megan and I together because we can't get shots together sometimes and this is a great way to do that. <laughs> um, so I can just press record and go pan and follow it. So we just stopped in this general store right outside of Canyonlands and just wanted to show you this little church they have built over here. It's so cool. We had to stop and get a little snack. I got a little, a little ice cream. Twix and Snickers ice cream. It's freaking hot. Holy crap, I think mine already might be melting. But it's uh, currently 97 degrees out. We are going to Arches National Park. We are gonna have to probably really hydrate up a lot because it's pretty pretty open there. Pretty energy than hydrating. Yeah, yeah. Really we'll be at Arches in probably like 30 minutes and then um, see some of the crazy archways they have there. We'll reconnect soon. Camera action when I step into the limelight, easily adapted to the high life. Dress to impress like it's prime night. And when you live in top shelf, you know you gotta set the bar high. Had the same dream. We made it into the Arches National Park. We we're right at the entrance, basically. Um, but yeah. Oh wow, I hadn't even looked over there yet. It's already just incredible. So crazy. Yeah, so right now we are going to go to the Double Arch, which is 15 minutes down the road within the park, so it's a little drive, but still. Oh, that um, looks rough. Uh, double Arch is one of the more famous arches in here, so we're about to go check it out, hoping that this storm right there stays away. It will. All right, we'll see you soon. I'm trying to check the weather because it's looking real sketchy, and we were about to go on the hike. It's about a mile. It's real, real dark outside. Yeah. Uh, it's raining right now. Yep. Well, we're about to get stormed on. Making it back to the car. Thank God we didn't go on the side. Oh my side. God! Just sit straight high through the storm. Yeah, the storm is a brewing. Just miss the whole thing. It's just a different way to move the highlights. So many different things to do. Where are we going now? We are going to the double arches. We had to chill for a minute because it was storming like crazy. It uh was super windy. Um it didn't really ever rain, but lightning went crazy. Wow. Let's go food and drinks, but what makes you think that this life 
nights made for a king. So many different things to do within the highlight. And now it's girls, 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 I get dumb. The coupe only shit too, but in the back I got four. Talking about this high life, I mean as high as it go. What do you think, Mag? It's beautiful. It's amazing. Look at giving me this radio. <laughs> Beautiful, beautiful up here. Oh, really? It's definitely not like anything I've ever seen before. Oh, yeah. You gotta come here to check it out. Yeah. Let's cut these planes, clouds to make it counts that I own. Funny thing, it all started from a pen and a poem. Whoever thought you just could pay off all of my student loans. Not to throw a party, invite everybody I know. Let me send a mass text to everyone in my phone. That's good food and drinks. My mood makes you think that this life's made for a king. The room starts to shake, so smooth if you blink, you might just miss the whole thing. It's just a different way to move in the high life. So many different things to do. My hair is looking wild. <laughs> we both look like we've got some mullets or something going on. We're on our way to Delicate Arch for sunset. Sunset might be interesting with the way the clouds are looking right now. We might get stormed on for sunset. Probably. You probably can't even hear us right now. <laughs> the wind is blowing so much. We're gonna try to block some of this on the way there. I'd rather it be like this than no wind and all heat. Yeah, for sure. But yeah, we'll see you there shortly. It's just a different way to move in the high Rest. We still got a nice little hill to go up. Update. We're still dying. Um, we've got to be getting close. It's starting to sprinkle a little bit. We might get caught in a downpour. It's coming down a little harder now. <laughs> this is going to be... <laughs> An adventure for sure. <laughs> what would I do without you? A decade goes by without a warning, and there's still a kindness in your eyes. We made it. It was <laughs> a lot tougher than we thought. It was exhausting. Mainly just because of the wind, though. Yeah, the wind was. The wind was not pushing against us. The wind was really rough. It wouldn't have been um, as difficult. And honestly, it was 600 feet elevation uh, for a mile and a half. Don't breathe well in general. <laughs> Megan's not a good breather. <laughs> Like I'm walking with eyes as blind as a man without a lantern in a coal mine. What would I do without you? My imagination gets the best of me, and I'm trying to hide lost at sea. What would I do without you? The difference between what I've said and done, and you're still standing by my side. A guilty soul and a worried mind I will never make it if I'm on my own I got midnight, you are patient, I'm always on time, oh, what would I do without you? Think about this. You got your sunshine, I got rain. Is that even real? I got my doubts, so The hike was worth it. What would I do without you? It is just gorgeous up here. Oh my gosh. What would I do without you? My hair. I styled it that way. What would I do without you? <laughs> well, 
what's up guys? So uh, today is That is not saying. Hold on, what is today? And day why five? Why are you doing this when I look like a dang ghost? It's today day five. Yeah. I don't even know. Yeah, so today we are We've leaving been Utah. Out five days. And we'll be heading to is it day five? What is today? Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Yeah. Um, so today we'll be heading to Breckenridge, Colorado, but first we're going to stop back in Arches and Canyonlands on our way out to get a couple more photos of some spots that we saw that were really cool for dress, up. for dress up. Which is why I'm fully doing my makeup. Well, Megan's getting all made up. Last night was incredible. We saw the sunset at the Delicate Arch. It was just such a cool experience. After we got done there, we just picked up some fast food and got home and crashed. We were way too tired. We were gonna get up early this morning and go to Candylands to see the um, sunrise, but I think we slept through the alarm, honestly. Like, mm -hmm. we, were, we were done. I'm not, yeah, I can't really tell you what happened. So, but yeah. So today we'll be on the road for like four and a half hours. Uh, it's one of our longer drives, but um, we're gonna be seeing a bunch of cool stuff along the way. How's my makeup looking? looking good. Am I all blended? You're blended. <laughs> so actually, we're not going to Arches today. Um, <laughs> the place is already full at 10 o'clock, so they're not allowing anyone back in the park until like 1 o'clock. So now we're heading to Canyonlands to see if we can get in here. There's some beautiful spots there that we want to get some photos, so we will see. So we're out here about to shoot the second look for dress up. Um, dang, looking good. Ooh, looking good. <laughs> so we just got the first shot over at Mesa Arch. Now we're over at the Grand. Is it Grand or Great, man? I think it's I Grand. Up. Yeah, there's a lot of different ones. <laughs> I think it's the Grand Overlook. I keep getting it mixed up. But um, we're going to go over here and get some shots. What do you think about that tree over there? We'll just keep it moving. Okay. Um, so yeah, we got four more to go. We'll give you an update shortly. We found this amazing flower field out here. It is so beautiful. Gosh. Canyonlands, underrated. Definitely gotta come check it out. It is so beautiful. Looking cutie. So pretty. I changed out this so I could get some shots with her. Look at that view. Oh my gosh. It's so pretty. Honestly, there have just been so many incredible views, and I wish we could get photos so of all of them. Yeah, the wind is brutal out here, but still, that view. Let me tap on a little bit. Dang, that's great. Wow. Yeah, now we're heading over to Arches. Hopefully, we're going to get in this time, um, maybe get a few more shots, and then we're going to head to Colorado. So we made it back to Arches. They finally opened up. People were dipping out. I think it was getting too hot for people, so they all bailed. But it actually um, feels pretty good. With it the actually wind, feels it's amazing very right hot, now. But... Yeah, but yeah, look at this view. We came over here to get one final shot before we head to Breckenridge. Yeah, so my goodness, it, this is like a money shot. It is unreal. Go that way. Yeah, look at that right there. 
so Look at that right there. It's crazy. Yeah, the wind's pretty, pretty strong today. But, yep, we got our shots. Megan wearing them dress up jeans, wearing that dress up shirt, looking beautiful. I love that shirt so much. All right, well, we're on our way to Breckenridge and we will reconnect. So we're back on the road. We um, just finished off Canyonlands and Arches, and now we're on our way to. Last time, I'm sad. I, know. I mean, not last time ever, but, but yeah, for this trip. For this trip yeah. So now we're on our way to Breckenridge. Um, it's going to be a little cooler there. It's 97 here. It's supposed to be like in the high 50s, I think, when we get to Breckenridge. So it's going to be a big Every difference. Every time we do road trips like this out west, everything's so different. Yeah, I think it's going to be a big elevation change too, so yeah. we might feel it a little bit. But we just stopped in this gas station and got a drink. Um, oh, Megan, yes. tell them about this. I don't know what yeah, this is. we have no idea what it is. We haven't even looked it up yet because we don't have service to look it up. But um, it's called Yerba Mate, I guess. Yerba Mate. And, and the brand is Yachak, Yachik, Yachik. Yachik. Organic. And it says energized from organic yerba mate, which I just don't know how we've never heard of that. But yep. we want to try it because the can looks the can super looks really freaking cool. cool. Yeah, there the we go. Cool. And um, it also says that it is, so it's passion fruit flavor, which is yeah, that's gonna always be good. our fave. And then it's 160 milligrams of naturally occurring caffeine per can. What? So. We're about to get lit. Alright, I'm about to try it. Yum! It's good. Let it tastes try. like, kind of tastes like an Arizona peach tea. Oh, dang. That's really good. That's amazing. Dang. It's an energy drink? We're a fan. Holy Yerba made. cow! That's so good. We're going to look this up and oh see gosh. what it actually is and understand it a little more, but no. it's freaking good. That's a win. Yeah. Alright, we'll see you soon. <laughs> getting into Breckenridge we're about 30 minutes away and we were just talking about how crazy the luscious greens are here and like the trees are just insane it looks like a Bob Ross painting <laughs> the trees look so the trees look so fake it looks like someone just painted them all like perfectly drove along the Colorado River and that was just so beautiful and like these rocks and cliffs were like in between and this train track. Oh my gosh, it's beautiful. But yeah, we'll, uh, turn, we're going to turn the camera around and show you what it looks like. We made it to Breckenridge. <laughs> got our we got our masks on. We're trying to find a little tavern or something to get some food. Some late night food. It's Not ten a lot of places are yeah. open. It's 10 o'clock, so it's a little later and it is kind of dead though. They do have the streets all like blocked off and stuff. So um, that you can social distance. So I think you, yeah, so I think they, the you can eat outside and social distance a little better, which is really cool. But yeah, I think this place over here has some quesadillas. So we're going to try it out. If not, we might be hitting up Taco Bell for the fourth night <laughs> and we will see. There's no food available. 
in downtown Breckenridge at 10 o'clock at night. So we are heading to fast food. Um, Again. <laughs> good for the soul. <laughs> we will reconnect with you guys tomorrow. Tomorrow's going to be a little more so slow. About tomorrow, slow paced. Yeah. We're going to just be browsing around, checking out Breckenridge, making our way up to Rocky Mountain National Park to our final stay at yeah. Estes Park. So, um, yep, we will reconnect with you guys then, unless something dramatic happens between now and tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Give me, give me that song